Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, my mom is making a beautiful ombre sea glass and seashell resin tray. We collected all of this sea glass and seashells from beaches in Zadar, Croatia. She sorted the sea glass of various sizes by color and estimated how much she would need and placed it around the mold and did the same with the shells. She started by placing the seashells in the mold. She tried to put the taller pieces of glass and shells only along the edges of the mold since they were taller than the mold and wanted the center to be smooth and level. Then she started placing the lightest shade of glass alongside the seashells. and the darkest shade of sea glass to the top of the mold. Then she started to fill in the in-between space with a lightish blue-green sea glass to give an ombre effect. Now she adds the smaller pieces into the empty spaces. And rearranges some of the sea glass to make sure that everything fits together nicely. Once she had everything in place, she took some fine crushed glass and sprinkled it in the empty spaces. and she used a paintbrush to brush off any of the crushed glass that got onto the seashells and the sea glass pieces. Here she's adding some final small pieces of sea glass into these empty small areas. Then she mixed up around 150 milliliters of resin just to set the glass into the mold. She mixed the resin slowly for about 3 minutes. When pouring the resin, she was careful not to pour over the height of the sea glass so that the crushed glass wouldn't float to the top. Then she used a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and when using a torch gun make sure that it's constantly moving so that you don't burn your resin or your silicone mold. Then she lifted most of the larger pieces of sea glass and seashells to let the air bubbles escape.
and she went again with the torch gun to pop the air bubbles. Now she's squeezing in some more small pieces of sea glass and seashells. After 24 hours, the first layer of resin has dried and she mixes up some more to add a second layer. She mixes the resin for about 3 minutes and before pouring, she lets it sit for around 10 minutes to let all of the air bubbles rise to the top. Then she started to pour the second layer to be level with the mold and cover most of the sea glass. Any of the protruding pieces she was sure to have coated with resin. and she pops any air bubbles with a torch gun. Then she uses a wooden stick to help spread the resin and make sure that all of the pieces of sea glass and seashells are covered in resin. and she pours the leftover resin she had as well, just to be sure that everything is covered. Once she demolded the tray, she could see that she didn't manage to get out all of the air bubbles. To fix this, all she did was fill in the air bubbles with resin. This is on the back side of the tray, so the air bubbles that were trapped were bubbles that were stuck under pieces of glass and shells. The air bubble creates a small hole, so she's pouring some resin into that area and using a wooden stick to smooth it out. There's a total of three layers on this tray, two layers shown previously, and the last layer was a heat resistant top coat. She also used a wipe to help smooth out the area, and here is the final product. What's there to say? There's nothing but space in between you and I. It's okay that we change, but it feels kind of strange that you're not in my life. You're the only one that saves me when I'm alone. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to see more like this in the future and follow me on Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.